Now this is an important result. Later we shall see some problems on that as well. Now see what is the uh, what can you how can you simplify it? If I have n c r divided by n c r minus one, let's see how to simplify it. Later I'll show you wh where are we going to apply this one. Okay. Now n c r is nothing but n factorial divided by n minus r factorial into r factorial into it is 1 by uh, n c r minus 1 so i am just writing it n factorial uh, you are understanding it right since it is a denominator i am just reversing the terms right so into n minus r plus 1 factorial into r minus 1 factorial now this term and this term will get cancelled out now observe this here there is n minus r plus 1 factorial and here is it is n minus r factorial which one is greater n minus r plus 1 is greater how, by how many terms one term what is that term n minus r plus 1 therefore if i cancel it out here what remains is n minus r plus 1 that is what remains right and now if you observe this one r minus 1 this is r minus 1 factorial and it is r factorial then how can you write this r minus 1 factorial and r factorial is uh, if you cancel it out we are going to get r so remember this one n c r divided by n c r minus 1 is equal to n minus r plus 1 divided by r this is equal to n minus r plus 1 divided by r and some other results which are important is later i'll show you when when we go to binomial theorem I'll again show you that, I'll prove that, but for now just remember this result, it is important. One result is nc0 plus nc1 plus so on plus ncn is equal to 2 power n. And similarly nc0 plus nc2 plus nc4 which means sum of event terms. This is sum of all the terms from 0 to n and this is sum of all the event terms nc0 plus nc2 plus nc4 plus nc6 plus so on plus let us assume that n is even then ncn so I will not write this one. So you can think of it as sum of all event terms is equal to nc1 plus nc3 plus nc5 plus so on sum of odd terms sum of event terms is equal to sum of odd terms is equal to 2 power n minus 1. This is one interesting result we have some applications on this I will show you later and I will prove this when we go to the binomial theorem ok. Now, now what I mean to say is from this one what you can understand is this. So, if you have, um, uh, let us say 13 C naught plus 13 C 1 plus so on plus 13 C 13, then what do you get? It is 2 power 13, right? Similarly, let us say 13 C 1 plus 13 C 3 plus 13 C 5 plus so on plus 13 c 13 it is nothing but sum of all odd terms odd terms is equal to 2 power n minus 1 which is 2 power 12 got it so this is how these two uh, results can be used and even when we go to the problems i'll show you even more uh, problems on that uh, okay so now let's take an example and work out on this uh, earlier problem uh, earlier formula fine